people is asking me what I got on. They be like, hey, Brandon, what you got on? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Invis is everything braces isn't. More comfortable, fewer emergency appointments. Invisalign. Each week, U.S. Bank helps bring these stories of inspirational athletes who amaze us. Aubrey, Tyler Charbonneau is a proud offensive lineman on the Clayton Valley football team. A scary injury his freshman year nearly ended his football career, but Tyler would have none of that. There is no place Tyler Charbonneau would rather be than right here on the Clayton Valley football field. Tyler is proud to be an offensive lineman. I think the funnest part, I mean, the brotherhood with my, my O-linemen, the, the, I mean, some of my O-linemen over there since freshman year. I think my favorite thing about the offensive line is just, just getting down and dirty, uh, going against the D-tackles and the D-ends and just putting them in the ground. It's, it's the best thing. You can't get anything better than that. Life on the line nearly ended for Tyler during spring practice of his freshman year. Uh, my JV year, uh, I fractured my uh, C7 and my T1. I was pulling through the gap and uh, head was down, went straight into someone's chest and uh, it fractured it. I immediately felt uh, a sense of pain in my neck, but uh, didn't think much of it, you know. Uh, my, my immediate thought wouldn't be, oh, I, had, I fractured my neck right here. Went through my day and then uh, the next day, the, the pain was pretty bad, so I, I got it checked out and found out that I fractured it. It's pretty, pretty heart crushing. Heart crushing because Tyler thought he would never play on the line again. But the two vertebrae healed, and with lots of rest and then hard work, Tyler was able to get back on the field. I thought we might lose him, but uh, he never wavered. And um, he came back, I think he played the last two games of his sophomore year. And the first day he came back to practice, I go, how was practice here? He goes, one of the best days of my life, coach. <laughs> I said, this guy's a football player. I think the, the main reason, like my thought process was the, just the love, uh, the love for the game of football. Uh, starting my freshman year, and I was more of a baseball player. And coming in, I, I tried football out and I just fell in love with the game. And since then, I, if I had an option to play, I was gonna take it regardless of what I had to do. After getting cleared to play, Tyler earned his spot as the starter on the vaunted Clayton Valley offensive line. The Ugly Eagles are well known for their running game, which makes the job of the offensive lineman even more crucial. Tyler has taken over the role as a leader. He's the leader, he's the anchor man, um, he's well beyond his, his years. You know, uh, last year, well, the year before, with the injury that he had, uh, I really didn't think this, last year would have been much of a playing time season for him, and he turned it around and was the uh, definition of hard work and perseverance and coming back from something devastating and became an all-league player and ended up with a couple scholarships and being one of the best offensive linemen I ever coached. So it was, a, it was impressive. So he's a role model and he's a leader. Oh man, Tyler, Tyler was a big part of our O-line from freshman year to senior year. And so when he hurt his neck, it was hard to find a replacement for him. But you know, he fought through the injury, he came back strong and he came back and he played. Tyler has two scholarship offers, one to Sac State, the other to Air Force. He had hoped to use this senior year to prove his worth in the fall. Now, with football in jeopardy, Tyler is afraid he will lose another chance to play in the games. It stinks, it definitely does. I mean, it's, it's just, it's very frustrating because, I mean, can't do much, you know? And I mean, every practice that we get out here as a team, it's a blessing because you never know when it's gonna be all gone within a blink of an eye. In the meantime, Tyler and the Ugly Eagles get ready to play. Tyler hoping to end his senior season with game time on this new Clayton Valley field. Tyler is hoping to add to his scholarship offers when football is back this winter. Just another high school athlete needing to play to prove his worth during this pandemic. And hoping to get to play on that brand new Clayton Valley field. Beautiful new green field. Out with the black. Out no more black. black. I know some people really like the black. I like, I like. But the green is nice. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Robert.